Hey there, thanks for joining me again. It's Lokazi. This could be the final game of MLG Columbus. It is Los Sierra versus MMA here on MLG Metalopolis. We have close by air positions with Los Sierra spawning at the 12 o'clock position as the Blue Zerg and MMA spawning as the Red Terran at the 3 o'clock position. be interesting to see if he sends an SCV over to the side to scout if the Overlord is popping out or if the Overlord is just going to gain sight and back up. Of course, there is no close by ground position on MLG maps, so it's either close by air or cross positions. So we'll have to see if MMA is going to scoot an SCV over here. You want to send an SCV over at about 1 minute to 110, maybe as late as 120, to see an Overlord as it's scouting over. And the Overlord is actually going to see MMA here, just one second. There it is. Sees MMA. And yes, see that SCV that was built and sent over? That's what that rally point was, so that way you could see an Overlord coming in, which you should put into your own games if you're a Protoss or a Terran. Go ahead and scout that, that way you know it's close by air. And in the meantime, Lucera did extract a trick over here to pop out an extra drone to start its harvesting just barely ahead. And the reason why I said this could be the last game is MMA vs. Lucera, the first series. MMA knocked Lucera down into the loser's bracket. He climbed his way through the loser's bracket, defeating OGSMC. He is now back in the winner's bracket, as you, I guess you could call it. And he is now vying for the final top two spots. So if he loses this game, he's out. He loses, he gets second place. Congratulations to him. Very well played matches anyway. If he wins, he has to win another game after this. And then he has to go into another series because he was in the losers division to tie it back up because MMA hasn't lost the series yet. That's why he's at the number one spot so far. Now, I am Lucier has dropped his expansion before his pool. He's now dropping his pool at 16. This SCV coming over here scouting, seeing what's up. It's going to see that late pool. It's going to know he droned a lot after dropping that expansion and droned a lot coming up to that expansion. In the meantime, a Reaper coming out from MMA, very interesting. Tech Lab down there on that barracks. And I have not seen him do the Reaper opening since he was versus Lucera on, I want to say, Typhon Peaks. I guess he likes, I mean, I, it makes sense, the cliff jumping maps for the Reaper. It's going to go with that opening. And this map has a ton of cliffs, so that makes perfect sense. And it looks like MMA doing some tricky stuff with a barracks in the mineral line over here of La Sierra. Does not manage to get it down, but he does get all those drones off of mining, and he's going to start picking them off right now. Two drones. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, the Reaper almost got surrounded. Three drones. No, four drones actually. And then two Zerglings. Oh, another one. This is the best Reaper ever. Look at him go. Who said Reapers suck? Oh, Queen's out on the field now. Reapers, fun, fun, fun. It is over. Wow, almost getting picked off by that Queen actually. So that Reaper definitely paid for itself. It got eight kills. I believe six of which were drones, so it is 14 drones to 21 SCVs, a very good position for any, oh, actually the gas being stone over here, I was going to say a very good position for any Terran player, and because MMA likes to leave these supply depots down for, I have no idea why, he did get his second gas extracted, but as soon as this cancels, the Marines should tickle it again and maybe kill it off. Third and fourth barracks finishing up. Command Center, second Expand Command Center is finishing up, and Reaper up here in the main again. It got one kill, the other one looks like it died, and I think that's all it's going to get, and it's going to head on home. So the hero one died, and this Johnny Come Lately has one kill. Not nearly as effective, though he did have to face Queens, and the, the first guy got there before anything was too serious. So, get what you get. And the two queens are injecting away. No creep tumor spread yet. He's just trying to keep his economy, trying to get it back on par with what he knows the Terran player's economy is going to be. 
because he is behind in drones, starting at a deficit here from that great harass out of MMA with those Reapers. Ten kills about between them. These Marines already have combat shields, actually. It's an interesting thing to go for first. Which leads me to believe it's going to be drop play, maybe. I don't know. It's always confusing when people go combat shield first. It's definitely more of a defensive move. Like defensive against lings and roaches. Roaches especially. But, you know, you never can tell. Personally, I'm a big fan of going stim first in every single situation when I am a Terran. But I am not as good as MMA, obviously. So, my opinion doesn't count for that much. Now, we have a lot of Zerglings going out on the field here. These are to prepare for all those marines that will live forever with their combat shields. And if not forever, at least about 20% longer. And we have a bunker down in front. This weird little supply depot hasn't been cleared out yet. And these zerglings are just kind of moving around. Oh, they're turning into banelings. And MMA throws an SCV over here on the left-hand side to scout out that information. And now he's going to frantically drop a bunch of buildings to try and prevent the marines from dying as well as possible. He has marines positioned around to be able to shoot at any zerglings that are coming in. Banelings kind of circling around. Wow, the bunker actually abandoned. Very snap call there. Banelings landing on some of the marines, picking off quite a few, lowering the HP of a few more. And the siege tank is just shooting at marines from the top of the hill. But this expansion did have to be abandoned by MMA. He is salvaging the last bunker. First one died. And now these Zerglings are killing the remaining SCVs that were left outside of the wall. This is one of those situations like, we'd let you in, but then we might all die too. So, Lassira really evening up the game there with that move. He was definitely behind when it came to the original push, with the well, I guess the original harass with those two Reapers namely the first one, but now he's really evened it up. He's back ahead and actually almost double the number of SCVs of MMA. MMA has two siege tanks on the high ground and he has loaded up a drop, which looks like he's going to scoot on in, maybe pick off an Overlord. Stim did finish. Stim going down, Overlord picked off. Looks like he's going to run in, pick off another Overlord. Supply capping your opponent, always a good idea. The Queen running away. Two drones, three drones falling here. And he's just going to load up and head on home. He loses a marine for two overlords and three drones. Really good exchange there by MMA. Driving back that overlord from this position over here. Ling's moving to protect the main base. Needs to split up his ground force just a little bit. Kind of keep like two banelings and some zerglings at one location, and then like two banelings and zerglings at another location. I mean, speedlings are fast, don't get me wrong, but let's hear moving out some overlords to scout for these drops. And there's just dropships everywhere, they're just flying around full of marines. Viking being produced here out on the field. It's going to drive these overlords back. To make it so it's blind, Lysira is blind and not able to get these drops as easily. MMA is going to drop the third of Lysira, which you might actually be able to do some significant damage to. Meantime, this Viking is moving out to kill this overlord that is in the middle that he sees. And here's the drop in the north or the northwest position. He takes that to about well, I guess two twenty-five percent of its HP off. So not bad. Two more, there are three more of those, and I'll actually get it dead. But three Marines do get picked off there, and their shields fall at their sides. Very sad. Overlord being forced away. Not picking it off quite. A pair of Zerglings ran down here and retook this tower for Lucera, which is really good. Actually gives a lot of information that he's not able to get because the Overlords have been driven back. And these drops just dropping up, dropping down. Five marines up, five marines down. Healing up these remaining marines. And Lassira seems like he got tired of this game and he's just going to hit it with a sledgehammer next time it comes up in the form of banelings. In the meantime, a random tank shot when I moved over here. I don't know what that was. New drop coming into the main. I think it might actually do a lot of damage. 
here. Oops, some Zerglings moving over to reinforce. In the meantime, Banelings are preventing the Marines from going down over there. A Marine being dropped off to soak up that, and actually Micro out of MMA to pick off those Banelings. The last Baneling actually should have been able to roll forward against that force as the, Marine, uh, as the Marines were attacking the Zerglings, but he actually focused that, so great Micro. Pick off that Baneling. Four Marines are back out in the middle of the field. They need to go ahead and... Oh, I guess this ramp was cleared. Creep Tumors need to be cleared out, and that's what he's working on right now. Siege Tanks moving up, forming a nice little pattern. But there is a lot of Zerglings, and they are going to sweep through these Siege Tanks pretty well. Yes, all five of these Siege Tanks just getting erased off the face of the planet. And... MMA feels a little bit silly. He's like, oh, I lost that. But at the same time, he has dropped the third again, and two of the original eight Marines are still alive. This is like Arnold Schwarzenegger and, uh, I can't remember the name of the other guy, in Predator at the end. That's what these guys are. And this guy, this that Marine had seven kills, and now it's just Arnold. He's loaded back up. I've got this, guys. Don't worry about it. And I don't really think he's actually going to make it out of here alive. And this medvac is just going to go ahead and head on home. In the meantime, MMA has moved up, clearing out the creep tumors as much as possible here. And Lassira has built up a pretty good muta flock, actually. It's up to 12 mutalists. There's a 13th somewhere. I just saw it. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. It exists, I promise. And another drop coming out of MMA over here. Picking off a medvac. And now he's going to pick off that... Oh, yeah, there he goes. Picks off the SCV building that missile turret. A new one rolling up to take its place. And the gold has actually been picked up for MMA. Which is really good. He's on even number of bases with the, t with the Zerg player. And one of those bases is gold. So that's a situation you always want to be in. The macro hatch going down for us here, here at the second. Very signature. Another drop being loaded up. <laughs> Zergling running up to see if he indeed had the third at the gold, and yes, he does have it at the third. Mutaflock coming in here for Lysir. And it is up to 15 Mutalists now. It's actually going to pick off this engineering bay, maybe? Nope, repairing it, which should tell him an important upgrade is going down there. The plus one armor. This one damage has already been finished. The Zerglings are at 0, zero interestingly enough. Usually this here is really on top of his upgrades, actually. And it looks like there's that medvac. Yeah, there it is. The Marine's over here. Like, oh, that's a lot of banelings. You should probably get back in that medvac. Yep. So they do. They're going to head on home. Another medvac drop going down for MMA. Just so much drop play, which is really the hallmark of really great Terran players. You know, a good play Terran player can spread his Marines get a siege line, hop forward, that's that's pretty standard. A really great Terran player is dropping literally every second of the game at multiple locations, which is what MMA is doing. Just really fantastic work with his drop play here. He has eight Marines just chilling here, though, not rolling in. They're in a blind spot, so when he decides to move those forward, they might deal some damage. There's a giant Baneling force of 70 Banelings rolling around the middle of the map, however which is enough to scare anyone. And that's just a ridiculously large blob of green and blue. And it looks like he's going to try and move up and take out this third. Now the mutas know where the bane, or where the army is. He loses quite a few there actually, unnecessarily. Drops going down at the third and at the main simultaneously. These banelings are just kind of aimlessly rolling around. They did blow up a lot of the SCVs. This drop is doing a lot of damage here at the main. The one at the natural or at the third was cleaned up. In the meantime, just a massive amount of banelings rolling up into MMA's base. I don't really know what these banelings are doing. They're going for like a tour of the world here. They're now swinging back towards Losira's base to try and defend it. But I'm not sure they're going to get there in time. Throwing a bunch of drones into the wood chipper of Marines here to try and keep. Oh man, those Banelings got thinned out really bad by those huge tanks. That was not good. 
and Lasira calls GG as all of those banelings coming back get erased by those four siege tanks and let these marines live on. With their plus one, plus one, they would take out these two right here, and there wasn't really any... There wasn't really any forces left on the field. There's one Zergling and four Banelings versus three Siege Tanks, two Medvacs, and 36 Marines. Now, almost all of the SCVs were blown up and killed by Lasira. He did a really good job, but MMA is now the MLG Columbus 2011 champion, so congratulations to him. Well played games, amazing drop play, and just very solid all around Terran play. So thanks for tuning in, guys, for this entire series of games. Casted about 20 of them. If you would like to see some of the other ones I casted, it started at the loser's bracket round, or the lower bracket, sorry. They're not losers. They're all way better than I will ever be. The lower bracket round 7, I believe, is where I started, between Root Slush and Liquid Ret. It's the first set of games I casted. So if you want to check those out, they're on lokazi.blogspot.com. They will all be under one post. You can just scroll through if you start at the top and just keep going through the videos on the way down. You'll see all of those. You can also go ahead and follow me on JustinTV slash Lokazi, and you can subscribe to me on YouTube.com slash Lokazi, so it'll all be a big help. And thanks for tuning in and watching my games. I really love casting, and it's really great when some people tune in and appreciate. So I'll see you guys in the future. Thanks for tuning in. This was the MLG Columbus 2011 replays casted, or I guess, what was I going for there? The series recasted from replays. That's what I was going for. By me, Lokazi, and I'll see you guys in the future.